Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. Today I am very excited to share with you one of my absolute favorite lifestyle slash home decor. I like to call it design subscriptions. It is of course the Norley box all the way from Denmark. It features beautiful Scandinavian products and brands. I absolutely love every bi-monthly curation from Linda and her team. It is $74.90, that's in US dollars per box plus a very reasonable $12.95 in shipping. I will leave an affiliate link for you in the description box below as well as a code. My code remains Noel Nordic 20 and that will save you 20% which I think is a really fantastic deal on an already well-priced box. So I will tell you that I just love this box because I just kind of vibe with the Scandinavian aesthetic. I think that it is beautiful, contemporary, and clean but without being cold because it definitely has those elements of Hygge, the Danish concept of coziness in terms of incorporating elements of nature and a variety of textures and it just does a really good job of being beautiful but functional and that's what I want in my own home, in my own living space. So I was very disappointed when I got a very nice note from Linda saying that they were going to try some other marketing techniques and they were not going to be sending Norley out for review to influencers anymore. And my heart just kind of broke because I have said so many times here on the channel that this is one of my top five boxes that if I had to go back to paying for it, I would absolutely would. So I am here to tell you that I am putting my money where my mouth is and and I have paid for this box. I did respond to Linda thanking her again for all of her support over the past years and for letting me open the box here on the channel and I did ask for a little help in terms of getting a discount so that I could continue to open the box here on the channel. I know some of you have been asking me you're like where is your Norley unboxing? I look forward to it every other month. I want to know what's in store. So some of you guys love those spoilers. Some of you have already gotten your boxes because you've been Norley subscribers for a while, but she was kind enough to give me a little discount, so I will be keeping the box on the channel as long as my budget allows. It's um, still going to be a little bit of a struggle, but like I said, this is a box that I really truly appreciate, where I really truly do use the items, so we're just going to have to see how it goes, but you guys let me know if it is a box that you do want to keep seeing here on the channel. I would love to hear from you in the comments and then I will make more of an effort to continue and hopefully stay in contact with Linda if I have the opportunity to unbox it uh, as PR again or any of the other exciting things that they've got going on over in the Norley headquarters. So I'm just going to open up the nice simple brown box that we had this time around. It says unbox a haven of Nordic tranquility just for you with a nice little heart there. So nice and simple, very, very hygge. And then we usually have a nice little product card or, you know, sometimes it's a full card because there's lots of information about the different brands sometimes not so our theme for I guess this is the May box or is this the June box I think it's the May box it's Nordic nights it says a peaceful evening wrapped in the beautiful twilight of the first summer nights there's nothing quite like it let us help you make this relaxation filled experience even more memorable with everything necessary to enjoy those lingering sunsets in Nordic style of course with warm colors and natural textures sincerely Linda so it is the June box I believe it, in fact if I can kind of visualize my calendar. She does have a QR code right there for more inspiration and offers to complement this box on the members page, which again, I love going and shopping over on the members page. It's, it's fantastic. Um, there are just beautiful items. You're going to want a lot of things. <laughs> so let me, uh, and on the back side, we do have information about the products. This is definitely a quality over quantity box. Sometimes we get three items. Uh, I think that happened like maybe once. Sometimes we get seven items. It just really depends. Um, but when there are fewer items, like three to five, I just, they are really, really quality. Um, sometimes I feel like we've gotten the retail values on them, but not in the last couple boxes, which I don't mind. It's usually something that you can look up on your own, but you are definitely always getting a great value with this box. I will say that. So let's see. It looks like we have something from one of the brands in there, just a little like product card or a little informational card. So one of the items it seems is kind of wrapping up the rest of them. So I will just show you what I'm seeing right on top, which is a lovely little throw from Bloomingville, which is actually a design brand that you do see in several home decor boxes um, that I open here on the channel. And I, I do really like 
their products. So let me just go ahead and pull these items out. It's gonna be a little bit dusty just from this nice throw. And uh, once I've got these items out, then we'll, we'll talk about the throw which was providing some nice packaging this time around but look how beautiful this dark blue texture like this weave of this throw is it's very very soft we've gotten a couple of throws from norley over the years as well as pillows again just really beautiful things for the home this is really nice it's a great weight i feel like for summer especially those outdoor evenings on your patio if you're lucky enough to have one of those it'd be great across the bottom of your bed where you know like sometimes depending on where you live if you live in the desert for example the evenings can still get kind of chilly in the summertime so you might just want to pull this up over your sort of lighter weight sheets that you have it's got some nice little tassels here at the bottom let's see what it says about it I was gonna see if it said about like washing on there I might have to find an actual tag for it but then I will read to you it says it is made from recycled fibers from India um, so I love that, that it's recycled materials. Let's see what it says about it. It says, the berry plaid from Bloomingville is a soft and decorative plaid made from recycled cotton and woven in a fine pattern in a Nordic deep blue color, perfect for those chilly summer nights when the sun has gone down, but you do not feel like going inside yet. I love the heaviness of the throw for the Hygge feeling. So let's see what it says. So it's got like a big old tag on it, which you can definitely remove. It's got the little cut marks. I usually like to use like a little um, fabric seam ripper though so I can do that kind of neatly so it looks like you can definitely wash it because it is 77% cotton 18% polyester and whatever the remainder is I can't do the, that math <laughs> I think it says 5% viscose so let's see keep away from fire <laughs> yeah that seems obvious but it looks like you can wash it and then you would probably just hang dry it so it keeps itself nice and soft and that uh, weave doesn't kind of bunch up but it is a really nice size let's see if it says what the size is on the tag it might say actually on here it doesn't it does it's 63 by 51 inches that was nice of her to put it in inches for us americans <laughs> we need to get on board with the metro system but we still haven't but it is pretty nice so you guys can see it's not like it is weighty because of the material but it's not super thick so i do like that but it is nice to have weight in a blanket especially when you double it up because it has that weighted blanket effect where it's very calming very soothing i love that she gave it to us in the navy too so because navy is one of my favorite colors because I almost consider it a, new, a neutral all right so I have this in my lap it's probably gonna get too warm to keep in my lap because the Sun has decided to finally poke its head out here but let me go ahead and open up the other big item in here which is from mubs moobs I don't know <laughs> this is a lantern I've seen the whole box already I've actually seen over on Instagram and a lot of people are posting as well so maybe she's just gonna do a little bit more organic marketing in terms of subscribers posting she's definitely appreciated so let's see this is a beautiful ceramic lantern so I'm gonna hold it up close so you guys can really see the glaze but I do think those cutouts are really unique it kind of looks like a forest to me almost like a birch forest with like you know all of those sort of wavering trunks but like thin ones it says the Gaia lanterns pay tribute to the opposing elements of fire and light embodied by the Greek goddess of earth Gaia these handcrafted clay creations are lovingly detailed with a silky glaze and artistic carvings casting playful shadows on your surroundings oh yeah the shadows would be really cool especially like outdoors again I'm really thinking outdoor patio for this box it says the lanterns have a reactive glaze that creates a unique and playful color variance making them an impressive addition to any Scandi chic space so these are really cool it does have a nice like kind of foot to it as well as these little nubbies to protect any like surfaces that might be scratch prone so it does say there's obviously going to be some variation mine the speckles really have almost like a mustardy gold tone so what's really neat is obviously you can put a candle in there you could put a, probably put a pretty good sized pillar candle in there as well but because the cutouts don't start until pretty high up you can also use this as a vase so we got there she is referring to two different ones and there is a image of two different ones so there must be a corresponding or a complementary size in the shop I think that we got the larger size and so if you wanted to put it out as a pairing which would look really 
very stunning, I think. Uh, I always like things in pairs, like different sizes. Um, you could definitely probably find that in the shop. So I think this is really pretty. It's a little bit more like rustic and organic than I'm used to seeing from Norley Box. But again, I love that. I love that it's not just always going to be like super clean lines and like metal and glass. And you know, it's this is where we get a little bit more of those earthy tones. It does remind me of some of the stoneware, like one of the bowls that we got once from, from Norley Box, because I think I've been getting this box now for a good three years but I think it's cool I also just love the versatility of it that you can use it as a lantern and put a candle in it um, and then it's nice because the candle is going to get enough air to keep going even though it's a pretty tall lantern but also I love the idea of putting some beautiful florals in there as well because you can put water all the way up to here and your florals are going to be just fine so that is really cool all right so we had our throw we have our lantern and then we have a couple more items I don't know if these are oh okay I thought they were note cards at first because they were like itty bitty in this little little box so these are Swedish classics from Novelix which is the um, which is the card that was also in here it says how about enjoying a dose of classic Swedish literature with this beautiful box featuring four of Sweden's most beloved writers it is a perfect way to discover world-renowned Swedish authors while enjoying their distinctive Scandinavian writing styles since this box is so beautifully designed we suggest to uh, Using it, we suggest to using it, I think is what it's supposed to say, as a decoration on your table or shelves. It says to unning it, but I'm guessing she means using it. So I'm always very interested to read, you know, sort of quintessential writers from different languages, from different countries, because I always think that the person who has the most difficult job is the translator, right? To still have an essence of that writer's voice and style must be really challenging. So I am not familiar with any of these um, authors, Astrid Lindgren, August Strindberg, Selma Lagerlof, and Stig Daggerman. But it's kind of neat because it's got like, like this map look to it. Um, it kind of reminds me of like my parents' dining table, which has a map on it. So the concept of Novelix is simple, small books, big stories, all contained within beautiful, accessible packages, perfect for reading on the go. So it's this little quartet. They look really cute. You could definitely put them on a shelf, um, but they all have maps. And I wonder if the maps correspond to the location of the stories. So that is very, very cute. On the back, we have a little quote, I guess, from each of them. So that sounds interesting. Hmm. All right. I like it. That sounds good. I stick my knife in its sheath and head out to the yard. I look out on the road to see if the car is coming, but it's still way too early. Next, I go over to the gate and carve my name in the wood. I'll never forget this day when we were chopping carrots, when it was raining and the rain turned to sleet, and when Aunt from America was coming here to stay. When the Aunt from America was coming here to stay. So that one's uh, from Stig Daggerman. It's called Sleet. So let's see, we have most beloved sister Mirabelle, frictions, the silver mine, and sleet. And they are really beautiful. So that would be kind of a cool thing, like she said, to have out on your coffee table. I could see someone just like picking up the whole box and be like, what is this? Hmm. But I think I would probably actually have them out, maybe like on a tray or something so people could start flipping through it. So that's kind of cool. I'm not honestly usually a fan of getting books in non-book subscriptions because one I get so many book subscriptions and I like to pick my own books for the most part so I like the book subscriptions where I get to pick my own books. I do like getting big beautiful design books and cookbooks so this is a little bit this isn't something that I would have necessarily selected for myself for example from the shop but it is kind of fun to get something different and from another country from another culture so that's cool. All right Let's see. Oh, and we got an edible treat. Like I was, I feel like I sort of, um, I didn't know that from the spoilers online. However, I feel like I did sort of, uh, sort of manifest that in my intro. So we got some toffees. Oh boy, this is a really long word. I'm going to try it. Caramel compagnette. Compagnette. To complete the night, indulge in a gourmet experience with the handmade toffee featuring crispy salt crystals from the Danish island Leso, ay, ay, there's a lot of letters in there that we are not used to seeing. Kneaded into soft and rich toffee, the handmade caramels are packed on Bornholm Island between Sweden and Denmark. Don't forget to check out our store to order more because they already know that you're going to be hooked on them. I love me a caramel, so I know that I will be. 
It says, since 2004, we've produced handmade gourmet caramels on the Danish island of Bornholm. Our production is based on old family traditions combined with Nordic living and a refined version of our secret family recipe from 1894. I am totally destroying this package because it's got one of those funky tabs that, you know, I just destroy. But it's not like I'm going to... Uh, these aren't going to last long. So we've got a package of nice caramels for when craving for caramels and it gives us their website. So we just got a little package, probably not too many salty, creamy caramels. You guys, I'm going to dive into these. I'm so excited. Mm, I am so excited. But what a beautiful evening that she has prepared for us. You can cozy up. Maybe you have a nice chaise in your back patio or just, you know, open all the doors and windows so you can get some of that night summer air in. Maybe cozy up to a short story, so that's kind of nice too that it's not necessarily super duper long. Uh, light your lantern or get those uh, fluff up those beautiful flowers that you just got from the farmer's market. And as you sip your tea or some other Hegelig beverage, you know, when you finish the story, have a nice caramel to uh, end the night on a sweet note. So Hopefully, hopefully the stories are kind of sweet too. I could see them being maybe a little bit dark. So very excited about this box. It's honestly, I'm going to be totally honest as I usually am in all of my reviews. It's not my favorite Snorley box just because I wouldn't normally pick this. And it's just surprising to me because we got a lantern that I, again, would have maybe pictured from a different box but i actually really love the lantern and i love the throw too i think that's what the thing is is like i don't need any more throws in my life but i am addicted to them like i always want to get them so <laughs> when i get another one like the practical side of me is like oh i didn't need another throw but the the recipient side of me is really excited about it so love the throw love the lantern I'm probably gonna love the book and the caramels as well. It's just not necessarily like, like it doesn't to me feel like as much of a design box as usual, but it definitely feels like a very Scandinavian evening, like mellow, calm, beautiful, simple living box, if that makes any sense. So it's definitely exactly what Dorley Box is all about. I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. I think I'm just really happy to still have it here on the channel. I hope you are as well. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this one. I take it all back. I love this box too. I always do. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.